Darius, sorry, uh, Chris Mack said this was your best game yet. What did you think? I thought I played all right. Um, I mean, I thought I got my teammates involved really well. I had 12 assists. Um, and then um, just controlled the game, you know, doing uh, being a good leader for my teammates and doing what I was supposed to be doing. So, This was his best game yet. It was his best game yet. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Yeah. Bro. Is there anything you were doing out there to specifically, or was it – were you just feeling it today? What was what was going on out there? Um, Coach Mack has been really big on uh, my voice. He wants me to be loud and communicate with my teammates. So that's really what I was trying to do today. Um, I don't think I did anything spectacular. I just think my teammates made shots, and um, I got them involved. Darius, um, you know, obviously people see the 10 points to 12 assists, but one of the things that Coach Mack talked about was your uh, play on defense and really limiting Quisenberry for them. Is that one thing where, um, you know, Good play on one on one end leads to good play on the other end. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think defense wins games. Defense wins championships. So, um, I think a good defensive team uh, will be good on offense as well. So, I mean, my defense always uh, can turn to some offense. I think. How have you tried to, excuse me, have you tried to change your game from last season? To this season? Uh, I don't think I've tried to change it a whole lot. I think my biggest thing has just been poise and uh, staying under control. So, I think I did a good job of that today. Jordan, how have you? He made a couple passes to you where maybe last year he might have taken the shot. How have you seen Darius's game grow to where kind of lets it come to him as, as Coach Mack was talking about? Uh, yeah, he's uh, done a really good job, you know, finding the open guy. Uh, I don't know if he was doing that as much last year, but this year he's really taking pride in it. Uh, you can see it every game. Uh, he's really becoming more of a of a, a true point guard, I guess you could say. You know, he really let the game come to him, you know, find his teammates, and that's what he's going to have to do for us. So he's been doing a really good job of that so far. Uh, he's been doing it in practice, so we know it's going to carry over to the games. There is, what is something that you worked on in offseason to get your, I guess, point guard responsibilities uh, in order for this season to play better? Uh, if I'm being honest, I just play pickup. Um, I think I <laughs> uh, play pick up with my guys, make sure I knew what they like to do, um, where they want the ball, uh, things like that, just getting comfortable with the feel of what they want, and um, then playing with other guys just so I can uh, just be, be better at reading the game and reading ball screens and things like that. There's, Chris said that the knock on you guys that everybody says is point guard play. Did you mm -hmm. and Fresh kind of take that as a – a little bit of chip on your shoulder that people are saying that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, me and Fresh, I think, we'll compete every day and try to make each other the best point guards and uh, players we can be. Um, I think Fresh is a really good player, and I think um, I have some good things about myself that I can bring to the table, so I think people are really asleep on that. Darius, when you are playing point and then Fresh comes in and you slide over to the two, if you had been you know, scoring at will at that point when he comes in, are you – trying to go to the basket more because you know that he's going to take on the facilitator role or how do you change when you have to slide over like that? Um, I'm still looking for my guys. I mean, I'm going to make the right plays. If I drive to the basket and somebody comes over, I'm definitely going to dump it off. But uh, I think that it is a mentality switch going from the one to the two. I have to uh, take on more of a scorer's mentality just because I'm not the point guard anymore. Jordan, uh, after you went to the NBA draft process last summer, <clears throat> Uh, what's some things that you brought to this season to, that they told you that you could work on uh, to get better for your junior year and something that you're trying to implement in every game so far? Uh, you know, obviously a big thing is just continuing to get better on defense. Um, but other than that, you know, just being smart, being smarter with the ball, uh, uh, not making as many, you know, dumb plays, I guess you could say, uh, trying to limit turnovers more and, uh, you know, kind of not, not force many shots, take bad shots, uh, stuff like that. And I've, I've been trying to do a you know better job of that so far. How much did you guys already hear about 19 offensive rebounds for them? And, and how much, what, what was it or what do you think kind of attributed to that number? Uh, you know, they took a lot of threes, so obviously that's going to be a lot of long rebounds. But, uh, yeah, we heard that as soon as we got into the locker room. We heard it. Uh, in halftime, and then we heard it as soon as the game was over, too. Uh, you know, we have to do a lot better job uh, than what we did today, or it's not going to, games don't turn out well for us. So, you know, some will clean up and practice the next few days, um, and, you know, it'll change moving forward. This is for, for both of y'all. Um, Steven had a big game. Was there a, a play or something he did today that really, really stood out and, and impressed you all? Um, I mean, we see Steve every day in practice. We've seen him all summer. He's came a long way, and uh, he's doing a lot of good things. I don't think he did anything necessarily that impressed me 
per se. Uh, I know how Steve can play. I know he's a good shooter, good post player, and uh, he just played really well today. Uh, yeah, same with me. You know, we see Steve every day in practice. Uh, so we know what we can do. Um, we need him to play like this, you know, every game. Uh, even when guys are, are his size. Uh, you know, their big was, wasn't was as, as big as Steve, so, you know, he, he did a good job, you know, punishing them for that. Now he just had to do the same thing uh, when we play, you know, other guys that are, are bigger, and, you know, he can do it. You know, he's a great, a great player. Uh, he gets better every day. He's in the gym all the time, so, you know, we need that Steve every game from here on out. Darius, you said he, he's came, come a long way. In what ways has he come a long way? Um, just mentality-wise, I think um, his mentality has changed since going testing the waters and coming back. He just knows what he has to do to be better. Uh, just his, I think it, his biggest problem is just his mental, you know, staying locked in and um, doing what he has to do on both ends of the floor, uh, whether that's ducking a guy in, getting off his rebound, or um, jumping a ball screen. So I think he's came, come a long way from that, and uh, he's doing a lot better this year for sure. You guys notice Steve become a better rebounder. It's something Coach Max said. You guys, I mean, how much does that help you all? Uh, yeah, I was just looking at the sheet, and um, after he asked that question, I thought I thought uh, he has become a great rebounder. Honestly, uh, last year after some games, he had four, five, three rebounds, and as being Steve, Stephen Enoch, just the big presence he's it, he is, I think he 14 rebounds really suits him, and I think that's something he could do every game. You know, double digit rebounds and uh, just clean up, clean up things on the glass. How did you guys <clears throat> feel when Quinn hit his two threes? <laughs> uh, you know, we, we were happy for him. I think he was happier for himself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen somebody so happy after they hit a three like that in a while. Uh, he had the biggest smile on his face running <laughs> back on defense. Yeah, I was I was excited <laughs> for him too. He was I, you could tell how excited he was for himself. But uh, Quinn's a great guy. Everybody loves yeah. him, so uh, we was really excited for him. From an offensive standpoint, you guys make the first 11 baskets to start the game. You start off the second half, I think it was 7 of 9. Um, where do you guys see room, though, for improvement on uh, from the offensive side of the ball? Just continuing to, you know, learn our learn our offense and really run it. Uh, we got a lot of transition buckets uh, in the second half. You know, not every game is going to be like that. Uh, we're going to have to be able to get in the half court and really run our sets. Uh, you know, get them down and just everybody, you know, know their role and know, know where we have to be, you know, our spots and everything and just be sharp with it. Um, if we run our offense how we're supposed to, you know, a lot of teams are going to have, you know, problems guarding it. We just have to keep getting better. Uh, there's a lot of room to grow in that and just continue to get sharp and everybody, you know, learning what they have to do uh, in, our, in our place. Yeah, I agree with Jordan. I think execution is going to be big for us, uh, just being able to score in the half court because every game isn't going to be a, a – fast break dominant game um we scored a lot of points in the half in the fast break today but in the half court we have to be a lot better uh we've been doing good of getting the ball in the lane and kicking out for threes instead of just shooting threes off the off perimeter passes and uh honestly getting the ball to steve and getting in the lane and making layups so i mean that's that's gonna be a big emphasis for us